Good morning, guys. This is Kenzo Extra Out Forex. So let's go straight to our daily, daily, daily analysis. Uh, uh, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Uh, let's see what's really happening on the market. Uh, I hope yesterday you were here, by the way. Yes, we did go live as we always do. So even today, we're going to still go live. But today, we don't really have some in a nice economic news. So, which means we're going to go live uh, before the market open, before actually Nasdaq open. Then we will see what's really happening. Yes, uh, the inflation is still very bad, but at least the, I think the market was very strong. Actually, I thought maybe the market was going to give us some crazy sell-off. But guess what? The market was like holding very, very nicely which is something that I, I, I actually like because we want the market to recover, by the way, even if we're selling, uh, but I want the market to recover. I hope you show uh, that we have something. For those guys who want to join three months, it's still $30, guys. I only need 30 people. It's $30 only. Uh, there, it's my contact. Just check my contacts. Uh, and if you want yearly mentorship and signals, you can see the prices there. Uh, everything's the monthly is $45 so uh, what's really happening on the market on the market on the market uh, as you know we start with uh, Bitcoin I will just make this bit quick as I'm a bit late so I need to give you this uh, analysis uh, very early actually so what's really happening is yes we are still on this very 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 strong downtrend which means we should only look for what? For sell. It's something that I, I repeat every day. And if you did listen, yes, along the way, you were just going to smash the market nonstop. Yes, maybe you can have some sort of rejections and you lose somewhere, somehow. But 90% of the time, you were just going to win. Simple as that. So now, as we can try to zoom here, you can see that the market yesterday was around 21,000. Uh, the market was around 20 something now the market is back again at the lowest level so i think the market shows us that you know what yes the market is trying to recover the market is trying to recover but uh, the stuff that is going on in the market is still very bad guys uh, whatever that is happening in the market is still very bad geopolitical news they still affecting the market very very badly so what do i expect what are we expecting here I'm expecting, uh, actually, I'm just expecting what I've been talking about. Only, uh, I think the market will still push lower. I will think about maybe buying when the market breaks this area and push the upside. Then I will say, yeah, maybe it's time for us to do it, to buy. But uh, beside that, beside that, uh, we just need to relax. So let's go straight to DAX 40, German 40. What's really happening? It's easy, way too easy uh, for everyone. Uh, you can easily see that, yes, the market is actually doing what? The market is still on that downtrend. But surprisingly, the market has been playing around this resistance. It's not actually pushing lower, which means maybe the market might be thinking about breaking that resistance. Because, yes, as you know, the market has been uh going down for some times you can see this resistance is just there perfectly and now we can easily see that yes we see that the market actually is still playing around these zones the market is still playing around that resistant area so for us to say we're gonna buy let's wait for the market to break up or else we'll still we are still bearish actually on german 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 40 german 30 dex uh, if you call it like that so uh, on gold, uh, you can easily see that, yes, this thing is still aggressively pushing lower. And sometimes the structure is not really nice here. So I'm still waiting for a nice structure that I can try to have maybe my resistant lines. Then I can start to draw my resistant line. But currently, the market it has been aggressive. But I know the market will end up giving us something. So what happened? Yes, we did have a nice sell. But now the market is pushing up, but it's going back again. Which means we're just going to wait a little bit and see. Then we can have maybe another sell around that area as the market might 
respect that. The market might respect uh, that area. Let me just remove this. The market might also respect this area. You know how the market moves. The market pushed up, came back here. The market might start to do something like that. So it means if we want to keep selling nicely, we can wait for this area and say we can sell below that as we are on this strong bearish uh, momentum. The market is still going down. You see, simple as that. So let's push to the next one which is oil what's really happening on oil i hope it's quite straightforward you can see what's really happening since we broke out of that uptrend the market was going up nicely then now we see that the market actually wants to do what to push to the lowest side but the market won't just push straight like that the market will create this type of ranging moves push lower range 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 push lower range and like that something like that this is something that i teach my people if you want to join the winning team if you want to join the team and you know if you are not consistent in the market it's just a matter of simplest question that's why they say sometimes to make it or sometimes to have good decisions sometimes uh, those things start from the questions ask yourself the right questions if you ask yourself the right questions it's gonna be way too easier for you to see where you are are you consistent in the market yes or no are you profitable or whatever yes or no do you understand actually the market or you just started trading last month or a few months ago and things are still difficult yes or no simple if mostly you know that you are not profitable you are not consistent why not join the team i just said that there is a 500 rent uh three months mentorship or 30 dollars or you can just join the bigger team which is 100 dollars and then it's yearly mentorship plus the signal simple as that so what i see here uh on 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 on, on us oil i see that the market is creating some very nice move and i like this uh, because i already identified that area already so to me it's just a matter of waiting uh for the breakout and do what continue with that sell as i already and uh, know that we are on this downtrend my job is to wait for those breakout then i can jump on the market so i have to send this signal very quick i think the market will be pushing to the lowest side i think maybe petrol is gonna sorry the oil is gonna go down uh, maybe that will happen very soon so on us data it's like the market is trying to react to this now Yesterday, the market was playing around, uh, but now it seems like the market is trying to sell off. Now the market is trying to sell off, but uh, unfortunately, the market did not, actually is not open yet. So I can actually wait for the market to open because mostly when we trade uh, before the market open, things they don't really go in our favor. So what's really happening on US 30? I tried to zoom out that. You can see that yes. Uh, you can see that we are on that nice downtrend. So which means actually we should just look for what? For sell positions. Yes, sometimes when we go closer, you can see that the market was going up and down and the rejections were enough, which means, yes, sometimes you can take those losses even if you are on a downtrend and even if you are still selling. But the losses won't be that crazy like when you were buying. You see, so what are we waiting for now? I can say the market has been respecting this area for some time now. So I can say, let's wait for the market to break this zone. Then we can do what? We can keep selling. I think maybe if we can sell there, I'm expecting the market to come and respect this area. It's 29,800, somewhere there. Do you see that? I'm hoping the market will reach there. If the market will be selling. Yes, there is a chance for the market to push up. Maybe respect this resistance or maybe the market we the market can still break that area and push to the upside, which is quite simple, which is straightforward. The market can do anything, anything going up or down. The market can do that. So your job is to apply risk management, apply risk management. And from there, it's how you're going to. Uh, make it but yes we do still uh, have some small losses uh, stuff like that but uh, it's part of the game by the way it's part of the game so what's really happening uh, on nasdaq the one and only I, I i like trading nasdaq by the way so what's really happening here is 
Uh, I see the market is also pushing down again. Also, you saw that uh, on, on US 30 is also pushing down. Yes, we are on this downtrend. We did sell and the market just rejected against us actually yesterday. But we also did something actually. Uh, but, but what I see here is actually we did something when the market, uh, before the market opened because uh, there was like a core CPI. Uh, which is like it's actually a it's a measure for 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 inflation and that was seriously bad but i think the market will still push lower maybe up to this point like eleven thousand. and i think yeah we still have we are we are still on the on a very nice sell by the way we are still on a very nice sell i'm expecting the market to push lower so what do i expect i'm still expecting a sell as i'm repeating that i'm still expecting a very nice sell but here you can see we had a sell and another rejection pushing to the upside. So I'm just going to wait for the market to open as the market is still pushing lower and lower and see what's really happening. I'm expecting a sell. Yes, the market can still push up, break this resistance and push the upside. That is also possible. I'm not saying that maybe the market will just move in one direction. The market can still do whatever it wants. But I'm expecting maybe the market will reach this area. But we also have some area around this area a point where maybe the market might come there and respect so it's just a matter of time and we just have to wait and see what will happen actually when the market open because when the market open the market might push up before pushing lower again and you find that that you lose when while you are you were on a right on the right position you see or on the right direction because when the market opens the market might change the direction very quick and then a few minutes later continue with that direction so we don't want to be caught up on, on those type of of moves so for those who wants to be part of the team as i always repeat as i always repeat on the screen you can see there uh, there is uh, my contacts you can just talk to me whatsapp me telegram me the special is still there this is kenzo extra hot forex uh, bye